Here's your Farm and Ranch Report from the Montana Ag Network. Hi, everybody. It's time for your Farm and Ranch news. Well, today finds us in Kansas City at the National Association of Farm Broadcasting Convention, where it's a great opportunity for farm broadcasters like Lane Nordland and I to get together and have the chance to meet up with newsmakers representing the different agricultural segments across America, one of which is Clay Bertram from Stillwater, Oklahoma, the chair of the Federation of State Beef Councils. And gosh, what a crazy place to run into you here at uh, in America's heartland, Clay. And I've certainly, you know, we want to talk a little bit about what's going on with the Federation of State Beef Councils. And let's just kind of kick things off talking about the connection between you guys and the beef checkoff program itself. Well, let's start with what the Federation is. The Federation is housed within NCBA, but we're our own entity, Russell, and we have 44 great qualified State Beef Council members, and we have over 700 volunteer leaders. And of those 700, 74% of those are cow-calf producers, just like me from the great state of Oklahoma, where we're getting ready to turn out a lot of great wheat pasture cattle and, and great green country down there. And we have a lot of volunteer leaders who decide how that checkoff dollar is spent each year. Well, of course, you and I have talked before about one of the big buzzwords in the U.S. beef cattle industry and the agriculture industry as a whole, and that's sustainability. Yeah, sustainability has been around for a long time for us cattle producers, but this year the Federation has really put some bang for our buck behind those dollars, and we've really focused in about what those sustainability dollars do for us. And for us as cattle producers, that's telling our story in the country. What are we doing out there from equip pro programs to rotational grazing, you know, all the way down to my kids and telling their story to their kids and who what they're doing in the, in the colleges and the universities, Russell. You talked about that younger generation and even a few of us like us, the older generation, talk about what you guys are doing on social media. You know, that's a big thing today. Social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and everything going on from the Gen Zers that we just had a big release on Time Magazine, all the way down to a professional farming magazine. We reached 25.7 million consumers in just a small time frame of what we're doing with sustainability and what the year 2030 looks like for some of these young producers. And of course, that is some excellent news for all you beef checkoff investors out there like those back in our home country in the Northern Plains in Rocky Mountain West. Stay with us. We're going to talk more with Clay Bertram from the Federation of State Beef Councils right after this.